Hello, welcome to this mini lesson here at Realize Educational Solutions. My name is Leroy Smith, and I'm the founder and CEO here and your local advocate, consultant, and private tutor. So in this mini lesson, we're going to talk about the where in education. This is the learning environment in which our children learn. Now, you're probably thinking, Leroy, it's more important to think about the hows, the whats, the whys. Well, we've already covered that in former episodes here with mini lessons. Now we're getting into the where, a part of the conversation that tends to get lost at times. So I have three tips for us. So we're not lost. We're all together. We're all learning together um, as a community of learners and doers for our children. Tip number one, include social emotional learning into your curriculum whenever it is possible. This speaks to the empathy piece. We want to create learning environments that are places where children can grow and foster feeling safe, feeling valued, and feeling supported. That comes to the social emotional learning. We know that there are five key competencies with social emotional learning that involve self-awareness, self-regulation, social awareness, relationship skills, and responsible decision-making. We know that these five competencies should be involved in the education of our learners, but also must be deliberately taught in our learning environments so our children can become more empathetic and understanding human beings. Tip number two. This is a tip that kind of gets people kind of moving and grooving, is that we must eliminate any and all institutional and social barriers for our children. What does that mean? This means that we must challenge the status quo and ask ourselves, is the status quo benefiting our children in the long term and the short term? If the answer to those that question is no, then we must challenge it and remove those institutional and social barriers. Now, this isn't easy, but it starts with you. It starts with understanding that maybe the, your room is not handicapped or disabled accessible. What does that mean? Maybe your room is, you, kids can't get in a room who have physical disabilities. Maybe that means that the lighting in your room is triggering someone who may have epilepsy. So those are some barriers that we think about when we think about children with disabilities, but maybe it's also having extremely high expectations for our learners who come from diverse, marginalized backgrounds that are historically marginalized communities, such as our black and brown students, who often, some people think where they learn, even if it may not be the best school that they could possibly be in, no one should have high expectations. But I challenge you, have those high expectations, support those students and give them the challenges that they need. Tip number three is all about how do we go from a space of empathy, where we learned that before with social emotional learning, equity with removing institutional barriers and moving into continuing our practice. This comes into effective learning spaces. We must continuously learn how to make functional safe spaces for our children where they can develop functional language to describe what they are feeling, what they are thinking, where they can have safe spaces to de-escalate and to connect with others. We all need safe spaces and so do our children. So these three tips, tip number one, include social emotional learning where at all possible. Tip number two, eliminate those institutional and social barriers in our biases as much as we possibly can. And tip number three, further hone in on those skills to develop the safe, nurturing, challenging, wonderful learning environments that our children deserve and need. Now, if you're wondering about other questions about how to meet the needs of diverse learners, you can check out our previous episodes on Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn and YouTube at Realize Solutions LLC, where you'll find out our other mini lesson episodes on how to meet those needs of diverse learners. Look out for our newsletter, sign up for our newsletter on our website at www.realizedsolutionsllc.com where you'll be able to get this content that you saw today in today's mini lesson, weeks in advance and days in advance um, of the video. And also don't be afraid to reach out to us on our website and connect with us on our social media. We love it and we'll get an opportunity to reach back out to you. 
Until the next time we meet, we hope that this solution worked out for you. Have a good one.